Occupath basically is a company that we started here in Oklahoma City to capitalize on technology, specifically virtual reality and augmented reality, to help learners find their occupational path in life, the leaders of tomorrow. So in a nutshell, uh, we're creating virtual reality and AR-based training, as well as career ed content. Occupath started on March 13th of 2018. I remember because it was my, my mom's birthday. And uh, ever since then, you know, we've just been um, growing by leaps and bounds. And we, you know, we already have our first paying customer and um, already creating content. And I'm very excited to be working with, with Stitch Crew. And uh, we're also doing some projects for The Thunder, as well as uh, Francis Tuttle, um, doing a project for the, for the US Navy. So things are, looking, things are looking good for Occupath. Specifically, this particular project is more, if I could put it, if I could put it in, in a few words, basically, they're saying in a nutshell to these sailors, hey, you know, before you go onto the submarine, we need you to understand the physics of the ocean and have a seat in this classroom. Everybody look at this PowerPoint, open up your textbooks to page 45. We're going to learn about the Coriolis effect. And you know, the, the way the Earth spins affects um, how waves, uh, the direction of waves in the ocean. Um, there's going to be a test on this tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, right? So basically we're modernizing that. So it's still training, right? But it's more classroom based. So it's not as, it's not as fancy as being, as being on, the, on the submarine itself. So the main difference between virtual reality and augmented reality has to do with what you're experiencing, I would say, right in front of your eyeballs, right? So with, with virtual reality, here we have a virtual reality headset, right? This is the Oculus Go. Uh, I like the Oculus Go because it's inexpensive and it's also untethered. Um, so it makes it more portable, right? So it's affordable and portable. Um, so whenever you experience something in VR, you're completely surrounded by the content. And there is nothing from the real world in your eyesight. Everything you see is, in essence, fake. It's digital. Whether it was a video that was created beforehand or content that was created on a computer like 3D animation. So with VR, um, we're not necessarily doing VR with the Navy just yet. But what we're doing with the Navy is augmented reality. So augmented reality is similar in that um, you know you've got content that is that is fake, right? 3D content um, uh, that is digital in nature, right? And let's say you take a 3D model of the Earth, of a globe, the globe, and um, whenever you use a device, which could be a headset or it could be um, a portable device, like a handheld device, or it could even just be a computer screen. Um, this idea that um, you're using technology to superimpose digital elements onto the real world. So you're seeing both at the same time. Um, so with the Navy, for example, if we created a globe, as I said, you pick up, you, you're viewing the content and you're seeing the real world around you. You're still seeing your desk. You're still seeing your instructor over there. But right in front of you, maybe in front of your textbook, you've got the globe spinning and you can turn the globe with your hand and um, make it go the other way, spin the other way. So it's, it has an interactive element to it um, and you know, just something that technology can afford you. you know, when you're creating this 3D content, really there are no limits. Any, anything you can imagine is, is available at your fingertips um, you know, at, at any scale too.